Today we're going to be doing notes on an introduction to the bureaucracy. What I want you to do first is to take out a separate sheet of paper and answer these three questions on it. You will be turning this in when you come to class in your folder during the warm-up. You should also be taking notes on a separate sheet, which I will also be checking just for completeness. All right, so the bureaucracy this is going to be an introduction. This is how you should title your notes. These are homework video number one. Please make sure to include the date. First, a quick review. We have three branches of government fulfilling the Constitution's requirement for separation of powers and checks and balances. We have the legislative branch, the executive branch, and the judicial branch. Today's lesson will be centered once again on the executive branch, focusing here on this idea of the cabinet, as we'll see, who's in charge of the bureaucracy. Now, as we know, and how we've learned so far, we started with the presidency in the executive branch. The president sets the agenda. In fact, tomorrow will be the State of the Union address from the president, which will be his constitutional requirement to set the agenda. The legislative branch, which is made up of Congress, the House, and the Senate, they write and pass the laws, which the president then must sign. Once the president signs the laws, we get to the step we'll be focusing on in this unit, the bureaucracy. So it goes back to the president. He, in turn, enforces and enacts the laws. Now, this is with congressional oversight, but the president is the boss. Throughout this entire thing, the Supreme Court is making sure that all the actions of the government, from the agenda that gets set and the way it gets set, to the process by which Congress writes the laws and also what the laws actually say, and then the enforcement actions, making sure that they are all constitutional, that nothing violates the Constitution. So let's just jump into some real basics about what bureaucrats do. Bureaucrats are the people who work for the bureaucracy, and they're in charge of enforcing the laws. This is what we call implementing policy. They create the regulations and specific rules that make the laws a reality on the ground. They're also in charge of researching the policy and monitoring how it is going and what it is achieving to report back to Congress to see if there's any changes that need to be made now or in the future. One question people might have is why do we have a bureaucracy? It's made up of over four and a half million people and there are offices in all 50 states. We have a large country. There are lots of rules, there are lots of laws, and there are lots of regulations. These people make sure that the laws actually happen, that people are following the rules, that the rules are fairly carried out, and that people are getting what they need when they need it. Teachers are an example of someone who works for the state bureaucracy. The basic structure of the bureaucracy is that it's run first by the president and the vice president. There are then 15 major department heads who make up the members of the cabinet whose chief job is to advise the president. These members of the cabinet each run a federal agency known as the departments, um, the major departments. Um, we'll take a look at those here shortly and there'll be a whole lesson that's just on what those departments are. They're the ones who actually carry out the laws themselves. Here's just some examples of the, or here are the 15 major departments. On the top level, these are the most prestigious departments. They are the ones that are considered to have the most power. State, Treasury, Defense, and Justice. Justice is all the lawyers and the FBI. The Department of Defense, they're in charge of our military. Treasury, in charge of money and the economy, pretty much. And the Department of State is in charge of peaceable foreign relations. As you can see, there are a whole lot more. And again, our next homework video will actually be just about departments and agencies. Now, what do they actually do? What are the kind of the major things that bureaucrats do? The first, they have discretionary authority. This is the power they have to interpret the laws in the actual situations. 
So you said they're in charge of implementing, which does mean they actually develop more rules um, for reaching the goal of a new policy. If a policy says that all children must be able, or if a law says all children must be able to read by 2017, their job is to figure out, well, how do we actually do that? Regulation, so they'll check private business activity. Um, so they're making sure that businesses and people are following the laws. And research, as I said, they monitor. So, kind of a recap. This is repetitive, but repetition is how we learn and memorize, and you have to have this stuff memorized by the end. They research and investigate, which is mainly by writing reports. A big thing they do is give out grants, money to states and local agencies, who then in turn, you know, give out things like welfare checks and unemployment checks, stuff like that. They regulate and inspect. They're trying to make sure that things are being done faithfully. And if things are not being done faithfully, or people violate the law, they're the ones who actually meter out the consequences. Primarily, they will take people to court, which could either result in a fine, because it's a civil case, or a criminal with jail time. All right. Here are your closing questions. Make sure you answer those with your opening questions on a separate sheet. Remember that they should be separate from your notes because you're going to be turning them in separately. Thank you.